The chances for high school football this fall taking a hit tonight. It's among a number of high, high contact sports that will not be allowed for athletes 15 and older in St. Louis City and County. The decision motivated about two dozen Rockwood students to protest outside of County Executive Sam Page's Creepcore home tonight. Page says a coronavirus positivity rate of 20% in the high school age group is just too great a risk. So with many sports on hold, one team is seeing a surge in popularity. News 4's Alexis Otos is live tonight with that story. Steve, we're talking about eSports. That's competitive video gaming, and it is taking off here at Confluence Preparatory Academy. Tryouts start next week. Cedric Wilson is trading in his helmet and football pads for a headset and a keyboard. It's a chance to learn how to get to work together with other kids. He's trying out for his high school's eSports team. This is the brand new eSports lounge at Confluence Preparatory Academy in downtown. It's definitely grown as a trend um, internationally. Um, and then we're starting to see a lot more high schools um, doing it. Coach Chelsea Arnett says while the courts stay empty, more students are expressing interest in competitive video gaming. At this time, um, there, this is the only um, sport that's in season. But it's not just about playing games. We work a lot with um, building up teamwork and so and communication. And it's a chance for these students to earn scholarships to college. When I go to college, I want to get like engineering and game design. So I feel like this is a good way to start that process. Mizzou versus Nebraska. Mizzou has one of the largest gaming facilities in the country, and Confluence Prep modeled their room of 28 gaming PCs after it. For senior Rashane Washington, the co-ed team is a chance to meet new classmates. Anybody can do esports, you just got to work at it. So now there are around 50 high schools around the state of Missouri that are currently competing in eSports here at Confluence. They are doing all virtual learning, but they are allowing students to come for after school things like eSports. They tell us that that room is large enough that they're able to socially distance and keep kids as safe as possible. Reporting live, Alexis Otos, News 4.